Man, man sauc Katrīna Gaile. Mm-hmm. Un kas es esmu? <laughs> nu jā, kā Katrīna Gaile es esmu gleznotāja, skolotāja, mamma tagad arī. Mm-hmm. Un vēl es arī man ir dubultā personība. Man es esmu arī ausma perons un tad es rakstu dzēju. Uh, I'm Suzanne Lacey, and uh, I live in Los Angeles, and I'm a professor at the University of Southern California, and I am actually, I consider myself a performance artist, which today is called social practice, um, and mostly my practice involves doing videos, photographs, but, but real-time installations, real-time performances with people in different places, usually around a political or social issue, a social justice issue, actually. Man ir vienmēr um, interesējis kaut, ko, kaut kas um, ziņkārības pēc, pilnīgākā ziņkārības pēc, uh, kaut kas, kas nav tajā mainstreamā vai ielā, vai kas ir skaisti, vai kā mēs viens otru prezentējam, tā vai, nezinu, vai tā man vienmēr ir interesējis, kas ir tajās šķērs ielās vai kaut kas, kas ir um, noklusēts vai kāpēc par nerunā par to un to un to un, 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 un tur taču ir veselas cilvēku dzīves. I came from a background in science and um, but I was always, ever since I was a child, I was interested in um, discrimination, really and noticing how people were discriminated against and why. And I, I I really didn't understand it too well, but I I made it a practice of trying to make sure that I didn't, wasn't discriminate, discriminative, which of course is impossible because one always is. Um, I worked, for example, with disabled children specifically because they were at one point called mentally disabled um, specifically because I could feel that I didn't have a, um, a strong enough compassion. I had a curiosity, but not a compassion to that experience. So I deliberately went to work in a hospital uh, around those issues. So I think that's always been um, a kind of guiding concern in my life. Nāca darba iespēja, vienkārši viena glaznotāja to negribēja darīt, un es, protams, tā kā, oh, bija nāca iespēja strādāt dienas centrā pie cilvēkiem, kuriem ir intelektuālās attīstības traucējumi, neko par to nezināja, kas tas ir, darba man vajadzēja, nu, paralēli akadēmijai, jo es, nu, tā kā sāku to darīt. Un tad nāca arī satikt atkal cits dienas centrs, kur atkal cilvēki, es nezinu, viņš, tas dienas centrs tieši tā iedalās, kur cilvēki ar, nu, restīju, kur ir vecāk gadu gājumi cilvēki, nu, lai viņiem būtu, kur likties, lai viņiem nav vientuļi, tad tas bija kaut trešais dienas centrs, un tad jā, tad kaut kā, tad es tiku, jā, pie, pie savām foršajām gleznotajām aumēm. I think I, in, I, I naturally turn toward teaching, but also creating relationships. I think, and, and I think in my teaching, it really is about creating mentoring relationships. And conversely, I'm really comfortable and happy entering a relationship where somebody's mentoring me. Um, and I have a deep respect for the people that taught me. Um, and I sort of carry on, I guess, that that sort of experience. Um, so I, I, I think my works within the work project itself, there's a lot of co-teaching that goes on. If you are a Muslim from, um, Northwest England that I'm working with, you're, you're teaching me about your culture and your religion and you, the way you see the world. And I'm, might be teaching somebody about, uh, in the project about how to be a better organizer. So there's a lot of generous exchange of energy, and I see that as centering around the teaching mm-hmm. experience. Um, so, you know, fortunately, the idea of pedagogy has once again risen its head in the art world. In the early, late 60s, early 70s, 
there there was uh, there were a lot of artists that were talking about pedagogy, and there were a lot of people who weren't artists, like Paolo Freire, Judy Chicago, Alan Capro. People were really interested all over the world, and I mean, artists were kind of interested in this idea of teaching and 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 learning. And I think we've come back to that, you know life kind of goes in circles. And I think that people are thinking more about education, particularly now that education is so fundamental to the political divides. Kur varbūt ir tāda lielāka atšķirība, ka cilvēki, piemēram, nu ir tām mentālās veselības kaut kādiem traucējumiem. Nu, ļoti bieži gribēja vienkārši parunāt. Nu, tā kā tas bija drīzāk kaut kas tas, un tad tā, un... Ļo, nu, ne visiem, bet ļoti daudziem tā bija, un tad tā gleznošana bija tā kā tāds, tāds pelerīns, ar ko piesakties, nu, tā kā, ka mēs īstenībā tā glez, nu, mēs īstenībā gribas kontaktēties, runāt, būt, un tad, nu, tā kā es mācu to gleznošanu, tad, nu, tad tā ir gleznošana, nu, tā. You know, when you think about it, the division in the United States politically between the right and the left, has a lot to do with not really knowing and understanding each other's social situation or predicament or way of seeing the world. And um, I have a friend who's a real right winger. And he, I spend time talking to him because I'm curious about how he came to that perception, those perceptions. And one of the things I just find shocking is he forms opinions about people who are poor without knowing a whole lot of people who are poor. You know what I mean? And and so for me, when I don't know about people who are poor, um, I want to know how they see things, how they think about things, what's going on in, inside them. I, I don't think I'm as generous with people who are rich, for example. You know, I do have a kind of a one-sided side, uh, view about oppression. Um, not really one-sided, but I think I think there are, you know, people try to talk to me about white racism, and I think that there is racism against white people, but I don't think it's the way, I think the way a lot of people applying it, they're applying it as a defense against understanding the true experience of people who experience more direct systemic racism. No, I don't mums vairāk izglītoties, pirms mēs kaut kur lienam iekšā, nu tādā ziņā es domāju, ka es uzreiz gribu plaši, man uzreiz tāds švairāks ceļi ved uz šo te. Nu, es vienkārši strādāju šobrīd skolā, un man arī tur liekas, ka, nu, nu, kad es, nu, vajag, ja es strādāju ar bērniem, tad lūdzu regulāri kaut kāda vizīte pie terapeita, vai kaut kādas pārunas, vai non-stop mācīšanās par to, par bērnu kaut kādu uztveri, tas nenotiek. Mēs kaut kādā vecajā sistēmā tikai čukčinam tālāk, es esmu skolotāja, tev man jāklaus. Es par tā nedarbojās vairāk. Paldies Dievam. Jaunieši ir krūtāki par skolotājiem un skolnieku un bērnu vispār. Tāpēc, kad jā, gudrāk. Bet nu, tas ir tas pats arī tajā, arī tajā lauciņā, kurā es strādāju, kur, kur ir mentālās veselības problēmas cilvēkiem. Uh, nu, nu, nezinu, kas tur. Nu, varbūt sociālie darbinieki ir tā kā vairāk sagatavot, bet viss pārējais jau notiek uz tādu, uz tādu pašu darbību. Nu, tā kā. I think expanded performance for me is taking the idea that I began with, with people like Alan Capro and, and um, Eleanor Anton, um, the, the idea of individual performance and, and expanding it into a social sphere where maybe we're all performing in different ways. In, in, Oak, in the Oakland projects, um, teenagers were essentially performing themselves. And it was an authentic version of themselves, but they were clearly performing it, not scripted. You know, they weren't reading it from a script or learning it like actors, but they were speaking in a way that understood that they were being looked at and listened to. So they were performing for audiences of others who they really were. And the politics behind that are that at that point in time, nobody 
there was a lot of vilification of youth in public schools, particularly youth of col uh, color and our working class youth too. And the, the um, in Oakland and in the Bay Area and in the United States, there was a deep um, prejudice against young people, particularly people of color. Even even young white kids, they were seen as out of control, you know, and needing to be circumscribed and needing to be, in some cases, imprisoned. Um, so, um, you know, the the kids performing themselves in uh, with not just one kid talking, but 200 kids talking simultaneously was the idea of expanding yeah. these individual performances into a collective sensibility. So you go from one kid to another, and while they're quite different in their experience, you come away with a collective yeah. understanding. As an artist, or as anybody, I suppose, you learn to think about the way you think, so I think I try to deconstruct my own thinking processes and those of my students, you know, you know, students that are kind of like that and they, you know, you just, you love them. That's the way they are and you work with the way they think. But I think as an artist, particularly somebody that operates in the conceptual fields like I do, looking at how you look or looking at how you think is important. And um, for me, um, thinking about, um, complexifying situations and looking at the nuances is something I do anyway. Es nezinu, nu varbūt, ka tā sava istaba, ko tas projekti, viņš, kas man bija trīs gadus, tad viņš nebija, nu viņš bija sadarbībā ar, ar to dienas centru, kurā es strādāju, tas nebija tā, ka tas bija pilnīgi mans. Bet vienalga es tur vilku, nu, es biju tā, kas rakstīja to projektu ar man palīdzēju, bet es biju, raks, es biju tā, kas rakstīja, es biju tā, kas no rīta zvanīja, teica, tur Anna, celies, nu, kaut kādai savai glaznotāji, vai kā tev ir, vai viņi man zvai nevaru iziet no mājas bailu. Tad es biju tā, un arī tad es biju tā, kas nāca uz to telpu un bija tajā telpā ar tiem cilvēkiem, un tad tur bija gan, gan audaklus uz pirku, gan glaznotu, nu, māciju, tas jau tā. Tad tā sava istaba, jā, tas bija, tas bija tāds tas integrācijas, viņš vienīgais integrācijas projekts. Nu jā, jo, jo tā arī bija, ka tur tāds bija tas, tā bija tā formula šim projektam, ka nāk, tā, kad es neprasu, die, nu, lai, piemēram, tiktu dienas centrā, tev ir vajadzīga kaut kā diagnoze, nu, tā kā, kāpēc tu apmeklēsi, kāpēc tu šis pakalpojums, kas ir apmaksāts, kāpēc tev viņu vispār vajag lūdzu dokumentus, ka tev viņš pienāks. Tad, tad tā sava istaba, kas man bija trīs gadus, Tur es neprasīju nekādus dokumentus, nu tā, un, un tad tas bija arī tas pat mērķis, ka tur nāca arī tādi mani draugi, draugi, kuriem, nu, tā kā it kā, it kā visi kārtība, cilvēki parastie nāca mācīties glasnot kopā ar cilvēkiem, kuriem, nu, kuriem es dažiem zināju, kad ir šī diagnoze vai, nu, vai nā, bija arī, ko vajadzas, bija man arī mammas, kas veda savus bērnus, kas ir tādi jaunieši, lai viņi, nu, lai viņiem būtu, kur to, nezinu, pa vasaru kaut kāds, nezinu, notikums, vai arī, vai arī viņš tiešām interesē tā māksla. Nu, lai viņiem būtu, kur likties. Un tad mēs visi tādā, nu, mazā telpā, kaut kādā šādā te telpā arī tur tusējām kopā, nu, gleznojām un, nezinu, dzērām tēju un nādām, ēdām cepumus, bet visi kopā. Un tad tā, nu jā, tad tā bija tiešām reāla integrācija. Um, so I'm I'm going through a lot of things simultaneously. So when I go into a community, that's the way my mind operates. And generally, I listen to people about what they care about. Now, I have a set of concerns of my own. And if the concern is we want to be anti-abortion, probably there's not going to be a real mix for me and them. But in a community that where there's people point out certain issues, or certain things, and I start thinking about it, and then I start thinking, how could we work together? And I talk to people a lot, and then we even, like in Ecuador, we form groups of people that were all interested in some way in the arts or in violence against women mm -hmm. or in male consciousness raising, and we brought them together and literally had large conversations um, collectively about what, what would be a good thing to do 
here in this city. And the idea is, I wouldn't say that somebody tells me what to do and then I go do it. And certainly there's no consensus in the beginning, but but we we think together and eventually ideas begin to emerge. And I have a pretty good sense about what in my oeuvre will make a good artwork. It might be really different in yours, right? Um, you would recognize different patterns, different things. And um, so, so then there's a kind of a lot of back and forth that goes on with my work colleagues. And I tend to work in situ. I don't have my studio that comes with me. I almost like create a studio within a community. So there's a lot of back and forth and thinking about what, it, you know, what kind of images resonate. And sometimes, like again in Oakland, kids might come up with, well, we want to sit in a park and talk about with each other. And I'm thinking, well, that probably isn't a very exciting performance. But then, you know, I say, well, what if you're in cars? And they'll say, well, I don't know about cars. I don't drive cars. But then once they get in cars, then they start thinking, well, this is pretty cool. You know, I'm in a car on the top of a roof. And so there's there's a way in which the ideas get tested out and refined consistently over time. Older women in Minneapolis don't want to wear black. On Mother's Day, it's considered, you know, they think they're going to look like they're going to a funeral. So we create the idea of scarves that add color that they're given before they leave the quilt. So so it's constant consensual um, planning, but it's not fully doc, uh, democratic in that I don't take votes. Pretty close to votes, but I, I can't do what I can't do. Vispār, man liekas, lienot kaut kādos kaut kur tur kur tu ikdienā neēsi, nezinu, kaut kādos pulciņos, es nezinu, vai iet dziedāt korī, piemēram, vai ar kaut kā, arī ar dažādiem cilvēkiem. Tas taču ir tāda esence, tu to, nezinu, nu, tu tā kā dabū uzreiz tik daudz, tu dabū dažādus burbuļus, tu dažādu viedokļus pieredzes, un, nu, tā kā, un, un tad tas laikam tas radošais, ar ko es tur, ja es iet vienkārši būtu ar viņām tā runāties, varbūt tur būtu vairāk barjera, bet tā kā tas radošais to barjeru kaut kā nojauc, mēs īstenībā tur glaznojam. Principā es teiktu pēdiņā, es jo īstenībā, jo mēs visu kaut ko citu tur, nu, tas, tas svarīgākais varbūt, varbūt viņas īstenībā to nāc pie manas tiešām arī vairāk parunāties, nezinu, iz, izrūkt savu rūktumu, pastāstīt, kurš tur kaut kā davīzi nozadzes pie atkal vai kaut ko tādu, nu. Tad tā kā, jā, ka tas radošais ir ļoti superīgs kaut kāds aizsaks, un nav tā, ka tie ir mēlī, mēs tiešām cilvēki saņems to, ko, nu, kad jūs, nezinu, gleznos vai rakstīs vai dejos, bet viņš ir tāds foršs aizsaks, lai tu tiktu pie tā cilvēka tā kā un tuvāk un tā intensīvi un Ja vispār ir tāda interese, jo man reku, ir tā nelaima to, ka man ir tā interese par tiem cilvēkiem. Tad šausmīgi no viņiem nogurst un tad vairākas gadus neko vairs nedara. Mm. Un tā, vai es nezinu, piemēram, tādas attiecības ar savu omu es neveidoju, ja? Lūdzu, būtu ieguldīsies, bet jā, bet man omu negrib glēznot tur tā problēma. <laughs> varbūt, ja viņi gribētu glēznot, varbūt mēs varētu kaut kā foršāk kontaktēties, jā. Mm -hmm. Rule one for going into a community of differences to try to understand a little bit sociologically about those differences and not to hide from who you are and your identity and to be aware of the, um, as an American, I bring a lot of much more aggressive breaking into conversation than they do in England. Um, so there's all these things, you, these nuances of cultural interaction that is helpful to understand. And then um, and then listening and really taking in concerns. And for me, what I do is I consult experts in the community to put those individual concerns together into a more complicated um, social perspective. You know, I talk to organizers. What do you think about this? And they'll say, like a Palestinian organizer that I worked with in, um, in Oslo, you know, was saying the Palestinian men and their younger children, youth cohorts, men, 
are not together. And that's a serious issue that we need to help bridge this older man, younger man kind of dynamic in that particular community. Um, or, you know, you don't, uh, there are certain things I wouldn't do. I wouldn't huh. go touch. I would try not to touch a Muslim man, you know, grab his elbow like I met, might another person. I'd never put my arm around him. So, you know, you, you have to learn those sort of things. And then you have to listen. And then you have to assemble the 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 data into a coherent picture. And then without saying that's an individual experience, you have to retest, is this the collective experience? Is this what we're in this together to, to produce, to promote? Uh, and usually, I mean, it's never 100%, you know, there might be somebody like in Oakland, there might be somebody who would, would say, you know, Suzanne's um, a, a racist in these ways, and I'm still going to be part of this performance, because I believe in what we're trying to do, you know, so I, I, and you have to be open, you really, really have to not, not, not be insulted. That's the biggest thing that um, I think that inhibits uh, relation, cross cross cultural cross community relationships is either thinking you already know, thinking your experience is their experience. Imagine if I went into a bunch of teenage kids in Oakland and say, "I know exactly how you feel." You know, they look at me like, "Oh no, you don't, white lady." You know, so so you have to be humble, and then you have to be willing to be corrected. That's really important. And the only the thing that makes that possible is relationship. 